Before we get started, if you're not on my Instagram, I love to have you. It's super easy to join in on all the fun. Just sign up here with your email and hit this blue follow button. It's that easy, you guys. I share daily tips on what's trending, and I even do Saturday shenanigans skits with the Hubster to make you laugh. I love to have you. It's reveal day for our master bathroom. I'm going to first share what I love most about our bath and things that I didn't love so much. Starting with the shower area. I love that it's spacious enough for two people, but I wasn't a fan of cleaning the shower glass door and that knee wall was just a dust catcher. I'm a bather who loves to soak, but the tub was massive and it was a beast to clean all of the tile and that shelf that you see there in the back was always getting dusty. My favorite thing about my bath is I love the huge window above the tub. It lets in so much light all times of the day. We went with custom cabinetry. If you decide to get custom cabinets, you may want to order this first because it takes the longest to come. And the great thing about customizing your cabinetry, you can choose your style and there's so many to choose from and function and storage to suit your needs. And of course, durability. My sales girls were just amazing and may I add very patient with me with the configuration of the countertop selections. It's not as easy as it looks because we had to move some things around a lot. They made sure that I was completely satisfied with my decisions. Choosing your tile, your hardware, your finishes, wall color, having everything there in place before construction starts will save you a lot of time. This is day one of the reno. Cabinets are gone, the pony wall by the tub was removed, and this bump out that was so unnecessary, I decided to have it removed because I wanted to accommodate a longer vanity in a space. Here's a tip that will save you a lot of money. Anytime you move plumbing, you will hear a cha-ching. It is very expensive, there's no way around it. If you don't have to move your plumbing, don't. We had to to accommodate our freestanding tub. Frank is here installing our cabinetry. You have the option of having the company to install them at an extra cost, but to save money, Frank is highly qualified to do it. The cabinetry had to be installed first, then we had the countertop company come in and make a template to create the countertop. Then it will take another month or so for them to come in, then another week or so for them to install them. These are little tidbits that will help you if you ever do a bathroom renovation. Above the tub, Frank and the Hubster install the lighting before the glass shower doors are installed. And as you can see, it's a tight fit between the tub and where the glass wall is going. A quick reminder of the before, totally functional but dated, and here's the after. The spa lot retreat that I've always wanted and it's now the most serene spot in our home. We are so incredibly happy with the space. Over on Instagram, I partnered with Delta Faucets. To share Delta Faucet is celebrating lasting change, and I shared my new self-care routine along with sharing a custom master bath that has certainly brought lasting change to our daily routine. Delta Faucets powers meaningful lasting change in people's daily lives through water, and it has certainly made a difference in my self-care routine, starting with the Strike bathroom collection. I've always wanted a freestanding tub since forever to create a tranquil bathing experience as part of my self-care routine. This tub offers that and so much more. This is the Strike Single Handle Floor Mount Tub Filler Trim with upturned spout and handles. I love that the design suits both my bathroom everyday use and personal style that's elegant and timeless. It has a hand shower that makes a versatile addition to our bath. It's perfect for rinsing off your small children, pets, and most of all, I love using it for cleaning our bathtub. We have experienced a better shower more than ever with the control and flexibility of the Delta hand shower with three settings and a slide bar that you can adjust to ensure that you're comfortable. The spray setting helps you conserve water so you can worry less about depleting your supply of hot water and helping the environment too. The rain can shower head is a lot different from what we had in the past. It has a steady full coverage and it can easily wipe away mineral buildup with touch clean spray holes. 
Since we demoed the entire shower, we had our plumber add three surface mount body sprays custom to my hubby and my height. We can drench ourselves as much as we need to. It's designed to soothe, stimulate, and revitalize. Again, all while using less water than the standard body jet. Plus, the body sprays adjust both vertically for your convenience. We went with a frameless glass shower to allow the flow of light. It also helps to make the space feel larger and is less chance of mold buildup and it makes it easier to clean. We also had to get a custom shower door because of the Neo Angle design that's of three angled glass panels, in our case four, one being the shower door placed between two corner walls. We also upgraded the glass with invisible shield and that's a coating to resist mortar stains, making it easy to clean. I also went with this Victorian back-to-back -back pulls that really gives our frameless shower door a unique look. My contractor, whose government name should be Wizard Genius because his craftsmanship and attention to detail is just amazing. He did such a beautiful job on the flooring and the shower wall and niche. We went with porcelain tile that looks like marble on the floors and the same tile on the shower wall doing the same pattern that we did on the floors. We saved hundreds of dollars using porcelain opposed to using real marble. The focal point is having the shower niche. It helps to keep the area clutter free. I also decided to put decorative mosaic tile on the back of the niche wall to tie in the look of the marble tile on the shower pan and frame it out with marble bull nose. I did this frame in our kitchen backsplash and I think it just has a timeless look. And having this niche for shampoos, conditioners, body washes, and brushes is a small but impactful detail. Our countertops, I just love them. They are made of solid stone and we went with an undermount sink for a cleaner look. I went with Delta's two-handle widespread faucets by Dorval that has feminine lines that really demands your attention. Delta also has hooks and towel bars that come in many styles and finishes. This is the Strike Double Robe Hook with a chrome finish. We have two, one for me, one for the hubster. And above the tub, we also added the Delta Victorian 24 inch double towel bar in chrome. Get custom mirrors made to accommodate these beautiful wall sconces. We removed the overhead lighting and I fell in love with these sconces that has acrylic details that's on my drawer poles. Our kitchen has these poles and my guest bathroom have them as well and I love them because they are not flashy. They're very subtle with a pop of gold. We replaced the old bath fan and added this Bluetooth fan that connects to your phone. I love that we can listen to music while showering or bathing. It also has LED lighting and it works as a nightlight. We also changed out the light switches. One is an outlet USB charger. You gotta stay connected. You guys, I absolutely love the color choice of my cabinetry. This was easy for me because I had a vision. Our first color was white, but then I saw this. Craftmate had this beautiful color called Surfside Blue, and it's new. I ran the color by the hubster, and he gave me the green light, so I'm officially out of the safe zone. The cabinets are made of maple, it's light and airy and playful, and I just love the energy that it brings into the space. Over near my vanity area, we got two custom cabinet towers with shelving and drawers, and I really wanted overlays on the cabinet doors to give it a more custom look. The cabinet manufacturer wanted $1,700 for two of the doors, but I didn't think that was worth paying that kind of money for doors, so I had custom overlays made from a shop on Etsy. I had Lowe's to cut the mirror to fit the door. It was only $20 and the overlays were about 100 for two. I used the sample color from the cabinet to match the paint so I could match the overlay with the cabinets. Like I always say, it's not what you spend, it's how you spend it. It is so nice to have a designated area to prepare for the day. Instead of standing at the bathroom counter, I can sit and put my makeup and facial products on and everything is organized, taking my morning routine to the next level. During the design stage of the cabinetry, I wanted to have a place for my hot hair tools, my hair dryer, my flat irons. Frank installed a plug outlet behind the drawer so I can plug them all in the drawer, plus it forces me to put it back, keeping my counters free and clear of clutter. This power strip has two USB ports, which is perfect because now I don't have to carry around multiple charges. This is the Turner two-piece dual flush elongated front toilet by Delta that's perfect for tall people. It has two flush options to help save water and money. We also replaced the builder's grade holder with the strike holder. I love how easy it is to add a new roll to the holder. I 
hope you all have enjoyed our master bathroom renovation. We are extremely happy with it. I'm also having a series of videos following this one starting tomorrow, five days in a row of decor styling organization. So be sure to have your bell notifications on so you don't miss anything. I'd like to give Delta Faucets a sincere thank you for sponsoring this video. And I want to thank you all for watching.